Fix It Phil here, back with another home improvement video. I've gotten a lot of emails on this one. It's about drywall anchors. As you can see right here, we have a drywall anchor that has failed. These are the really inexpensive, cheap drywall anchors, and they only work for a very light load. Anything that has any weight to it, they will simply pull out like this is done with this toilet paper hanger. Today we're going to be showing you a better anchor. But what we have here is a problem situation. Back behind this wall is a concrete block wall and we have very little room to mount an anchor. If we mount an anchor like this that requires a lot of space, it will bottom out and will not work. The same thing for this anchor. If we use this anchor, the butterfly will not work because it needs to get past the drywall to open up. The anchor that we are going to use is a new style of anchor. It's a screw anchor. And what it does is it, it acts like a big screw. And I'm going to show you how to install this without it bottoming out against the concrete block. Right now, I'm putting a nail in here and I'm hitting the concrete block. We only have this much area. That's all the length we have. And as you can see by the drywall screw, the drywall screw is almost too long. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use this screw and not bottom it out against the concrete block. First of all, we will remove the remaining anchor. We will be using this to drill the pilot hole for the anchor. Okay. We have the pilot hole drilled. You saw how I drilled it. We use this as a drill bit and makes a hole in the wall for the anchor itself. But the anchor is too long. We will cut the anchor. Okay, we've cut the anchor a little bit to size so it doesn't bottom out. We will screw the anchor in. There it goes, simple as that. We cut the other anchor for the other hole at the bottom. Okay, we've installed both anchors. We will reinstall the bracket, bracket excuse me, with the existing screws. As you can see, these anchors securely hold the bracket. We will insert the toilet paper rod with a new roll of toilet paper, of course. Voila! We're done. Once again, this is a home improvement video from Fix It Phil. If you found this video helpful or you like this video, Please subscribe or click like. Thank you very much and have a good day.